Hi, I'm Sally. I'm 35 years old. I wanted to try the Moxie Magnetic Lashes and Eyeliner because a friend of mine actually got some low-end cheap magnetic lashes and liner off of Amazon and she said that she loved those. And then I recently saw a Raw Beauty Christie video on YouTube where she does a review and in her review she says that she wasn't paid and she puts them on and she uses a blow dryer and they just don't go anywhere. And after I saw that video, I was like, man, that really seals the deal. I'm going to give these a try. Um, I've tried other um, glue-on eyelashes and other magnetic lashes. I've tried the Ardell magnetic lashes, the ones that sandwich your eyelashes together, or in between your eyelashes, rather. And they work really nicely for just accent lashes where they're just on the outside edges of your lash. But when you go to use a full lash, it's just so hard to line them up and they don't stay close to your lash line. And with Moxie, I was like, they magnetically go to your lash line. So it makes more sense just to glue them there or mag magnet them there. Um, I've never tried any other kinds of lash systems like the individual ones or getting your eyelashes dyed or permed or curled or whatever. Um, having chemicals that close to your eye just sounds really terrifying to me and isn't really something that I'm interested in. Um, the hardest part about using the Moxie lashes I have found is the liquid and the gel both, I noticed when I take my lashes off, it comes off a lot. So if your lash accidentally comes off, it's kind of the same problem as with glue. You have to have the glue or the moxie liner with you to reapply because the magnet is strong enough that it takes the liner off. So that's one of the troubles that I found with Moxie. I've also, also had some difficulty lining it up correctly. Um, with these bougie lashes, my, my natural lash line is a little bit shorter and I have not trimmed these yet. So they're a bit too long actually for my lash line. Um, so that makes putting them on kind of difficult. I've been putting them on with my hands or with tweezers. I did not buy the lash applicators. Um, my experience so far with the Moxie Lash products have been, I would say on the whole, about the same as glue-on lashes. And the reason being that they are difficult in a different way. Um, you have to be good at lining your eyes, first of all. You have to be good with a liquid liner or even a gel. And you have to be sure to line the whole of your eye, especially if you want a full lash. I often don't like to line my whole eye. I like to stop and maybe even use a, a white liner. So that has been a frustration for me with Moxie is you need something for it to stick to. And I only got the black liner. So that has been frustrating. I've also noticed that the Moxie liners, both of them, the gel and the liquid, once they dry, they can become flaky and flake off. And when I'm using traditional glue, bla glue lashes, <laughs> um, you can get clear glue or you can get black glue and you can make it look like your liner. And um, so there's benefits and there's negatives to both. The glue tends to rip out my eyelashes, even now without the latex um, ingredients, they still kind of rip out my lashes, but I know that they're going to stay there all night. With these, I haven't had as much experience and it seems like the way that these are set up right now that they would come off in a stiff wind and it's because they're not getting full contact. So. That's all I have to say right now about Moxie. I haven't tried to go out wearing them because you can't really go out right now. 
Um, I did walk around my neighborhood in like 90 degree weather wearing these and they were coming off the corners, which is like the never ending battle for any lash system. So, so far I like them, but I give them an average grade. I found my best result so far to be the Ardell accent lashes that just go on to the edge where you can line them up really nicely, but they're just not a full lash. So I thank you for your time and have a great one.